Welcome to the best video of the whole year. I have been so excited to do this. You won't believe it, like I've literally been on holiday and I'm not gonna lie, this is all I've been thinking about. And did I spend the whole day yesterday digging all of these awesome decorations out the back of our cupboard, laying them out on the table, ready for today? Yes, I did. I literally landed in the UK. 12 hours prior and that was my priority. I've been to b and this morning, I've got all the batteries, filled all the battery packs up for all the fairy lights. We are good to go. I've also got my autumn uniform on. This little cute pumpkin spice sweatshirt from Next. So could it feel any more autumnal? It's also grey outside. It's been raining for the last 48 hours. We are fully ready to decorate the house for autumn 2024. And I could not be more excited. So let's get straight into it. I'm just going to show you what we've got this year. I'm going to show you my little autumn haul of all the bits I've been picking up. If you watched my video last year, a lot of this stuff is similar. But I have been reaching in the shops and I have picked up a few new little bits. So I'm super excited to decorate the house with you today. Cover everything in pumpkins and get super cosy for the best months of the whole year. Does the autumn decor collection cover the whole of our six person dining table? Yes it does. Slightly overboard, slightly excessive. I think at this point we've got more autumn decorations than we have Christmas but I feel like there's worse things to complain about because this just makes me so happy. The boost of serotonin this gives me is not normal. So before we start like decorating and styling this all through the house I'm just going to go through where what is from and just give you a haul if this is going to be a bit boring to you or if you watched the video last year a lot of this stuff as I said will be similar um but I thought I'd just go through everything so in case anyone wanted to pick anything up before they start decorating their house then they can do that so we've got kind of like a few little colour themes like a few little um yeah like themes going on we've got like some monochrome bits here we've got our neutral stash and then we've got more like traditional autumnal with like the burnt oranges got a little bit of um like aubergine purple some like dark wood because our living room is like black nude and wood we kind of get away with all of this so this is just going to go mainly in the kitchen I have got an exciting video coming up with home since this week so we're not going to do too much to the kitchen you'll see what that's about soon um but this is a focus on the living room dining table we've even got some autumn bedding this year which i'm so excited about so let's start from this side so dried flowers i always get our dried flowers from the range i feel like they're really reasonably priced and i feel like this is such a nice way to decorate for autumn it's not too much it's not too in your face like if pumpkins and that kind of thing isn't your thing this is like a nice subtle way of doing it um, we've got some in there at the moment that are more like summery with some colours in so I'm going to switch those out and the bunches are quite big as well so you can separate these and put these into all different shapes and size vases these packs were £4 each which for dried flowers real dried flowers that's actually really reasonable so we've got some like bunny tails in there some dried grasses that kind of thing this year as well we're not going to be burning too many candles because we have Lola and she has a really sensitive um, chest and she gets really coffee if we have candles and stuff burning or like things in the air like air fresheners and stuff like that so we've got some little potpourri bits in here there is some more in the cupboard I've just sort of pulled these little bits out but just like dried orange slices limes um what are these called star and east cinnamon sticks that kind of thing and then I'm going to get some essential oil and sprinkle it over them and put them in a cute little dish and it's all natural and it smells nice and I love the look of it as well. You can wear, you can wear, you can put these out for Christmas as well. I feel like they're very Christmassy too. This wreath usually goes like on this door. We can use this for Christmas as well. This is for lights for fun. Lights for fun is one of the best places to get like seasonal decor, I find, for autumn and for Christmas. These candles, these faux candles, probably one of my favourite autumn decoration decorating pieces. I've got loads of them. They're all dotted around you can see them here that one in the glass pumpkin is also lights for fun again great place to go for these like fake candles if you've got cats you've got young kids or you don't want to like burn an actual candle these are perfect like when it's dark at night you'd never know that they were fake they flicker and everything i love them and then this year next kindly sent me some bits which i'm obsessed with including the sweatshirt that I just showed you that I'm wearing today. This smells incredible. It smells like baking. I cannot wait to put this out. I don't know whether to put this in like the bathroom or something like that. But again, 
I like things like this because we don't have to burn them and it's not like too airborne for Lola's chest. So this is the pumpkin and maple. If you ever go into a next, you get the chance to smell this, would definitely recommend it because I think it's one of my new favourite autumn scents. This was TK Maxx with a little candle lit in there, looks so cosy and the pumpkins like reflect onto the walls. Home scent special, smells incredible. Sam doesn't really like autumn, like pumpkin spice cinnamon scents. So this kind of vibe is perfect. He actually really likes this one as well. And I just love the little gold pumpkin on the top. This was actually from a little local shop that's near us. They're not open anymore, um, but they sold like wax melts and candles and they had a huge autumn selection out so i'm really sad that i won't be going to have a look in there this year because obviously they're closed down but this is just adorable it's just like a little jug i like to put some of the dried flowers in there these little light up candles they're also lights for fun they came in like a pack of six these are from the range these are so cute some people might find these a bit tacky and too halloweeny for autumn decor but i love them so much we put little um tea lights in the back of them and they're so cozy at night time when you light them up these are also from the range as well if you're more of a simple minimalist if the little faces are a bit too much for you they also do like a plain white ceramic love those and then this wreath not a wreath garland is from lights of fun too it's just a battery pack with the fairy lights we're all about the lighting for like cozy decor like autumn and christmas lighting to me is like the most important part because when you're chilling over night time you've got the lights off this is what gives it the cozy vibe so it's like lit up and then it has little white pumpkins we also use this for christmas we just hide the little pumpkins and bend them round um, but we've also got the matching wreath that lights up as well i need to put some batteries in there i missed those one but that lights up as well these boot clay pumpkins I actually picked up from Home Sense not too long ago, a couple of weeks ago when I did my video for them. Love them. There were so many different colours and styles as well. I feel like Home Sense always smashes the autumn decor and I feel like no matter what your like style or your colour palette is, you'll always be able to find some bits from there. So yeah, Home Sense, these three boot clay pumpkins. This tall one, I think was the range or hobby craft. They do like the porcelain ones that you can paint, but I like to just keep them white. This was home bargains. We like to put like cookies or little sweets in there. I think we actually used that for our trick or treat jar last year. We put like all the sweets in so that the kids could take them out of there. These pumpkins were from that little gift shop that I mentioned that did the little jug. So sad I won't be able to get some more of those but how cute is that and then that's the same from a little local gift shop lights for fun the range autumn mugs from home sense obsessed with these they're like a nice little thin glass mug love them and then next kindly sent us some little kitchen bits as well so we've got some autumn tea towels this year look how cute that little oven mitt is and then there's a nice little boot clay pumpkin i don't know what that says but how cute and then these are also from next little ghosty mugs how cute for a little hot chocolate on halloween with whipped cream in and then home scents i love the lid on this one it's like a felt and it smells incredible just got a little jar of matches we use these all year round i get these from bnm but they're cute to like style as well and obviously practical when you're lighting all your candles this one a little bit dusty actually but it's actually a candle can I open that one handed? I don't think that's a good idea. But the lid comes off and it's a really nice pumpkin spice candle in there that I haven't burned. I think I actually got that last year. But I just love the look of the little ceramic pot. This was Home Bargains. Again, use this for Christmas as well. When you light a tea light inside this lantern, it's the coziest little thing ever. I love that. And then this, we actually had this out all year round to be fair. I can't remember where I got this from. I think I, I just got it on... Was it Amazon actually? I think it might have been Amazon when I did a collab with Amazon. Um, but again, you light a tea light, put it in the back of there and the little windows light up and the smoke, it's actually a wax melt burner. You can put a wax melt in the top and the smoke from the wax melt comes out of the little chimneys. How adorable is that? I think that's everything. If I've missed anything, just comment and I can tell you where it's from. But I think we're going to start in the living room and then we can slowly work our way through to the kitchen. What I'm gonna do is make a little pile in there, like a mini living room haul of this stuff that I wanna style in there just to narrow it down a bit because I'm getting kind of decision paralysis just looking at all of this. So I'm gonna bring a few bits through to the living room and then we can decide where to put these bits in here.
Okay, so this is the little collection for the living room. The first thing that I'm going to do in the living room is our TV unit. This is where most of the decorations go, to be honest. And when we're snuggled up cosy on the sofa on a dark autumn night, we turn all the lights on. And this is just so nice to have in front of us because the sofa's opposite here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by changing what's already on here. I have taken a few bits off just to like declutter so that I can just start fresh. So these flowers are gonna go. These are far too summery. So I'm gonna take these out and they can go in our little spring summer stash. Not that we have any spring summer decoration to be honest. It is literally all autumn in that cupboard. And then I'm gonna replace them with these brownie autumnal colours. Again, these are just from the range. These are what I showed you in there. Four pound a bunch and you can make your own little arrangements, which I really love. Also got this vase. I don't know whether to switch the vases over just because this one's a bit bigger. I might leave this to one side. And if we have room on here after I've filled it with pumpkins and candles, we can maybe look at doing the bigger one as well. But I think these dried flowers sit really nicely in like a really thin like bottleneck vase. So I'm just going to put... I think this arrangement was from last year to be fair so I'm just going to put that in there as a start I think and see how we go on and then we could just add like little bits if we want to but I think that looks really nice in there I love these colours and I'm just going to put it on the end here when I was at uni and I was studying interior design one of the rules was the rule of three so if you're styling something like this each end I try and always stick to three things and that is a bit hard with the autumn stuff because we have so many bits that I want to put on here. But I'm going to try and stick to that rule of three. So three of something on this end, three of something on that end. So I'm just, just trying to find the three bits that I want to put on this side. I try and like alter the sizes of it as well. So I have like one really big thing, one medium thing, one small thing on both sides just so it's a little bit more balanced. So I'm thinking of maybe having this one here. This does light up. I think it needs new batteries in it, but I'm going to do that afterwards. But maybe like that is the medium thing. Or this is the medium thing. This is from Next. I absolutely love this. This is in the autumn bits that they sent me. But I think this with one of the pillar candles in. Just looks so good. Maybe that should be the medium thing here. Mm. Also got this like woodeny pumpkin. Don't know if that goes with. Mm. I think that goes for now. We'll just have a little play around and see. Like I changed my mind all the way through this process. We also need to put the light up garland along the back here. So I might do that and then we can play around with the little bits at each end. Okay, right, on this end, we've got the ceramic lights for fun pumpkin that does light up. I just need to put some batteries in it. It lights up like through these little holes. It looks so nice. And then we've got the next candle holder with one of the lights for fun fake pillar candles. And then we've got our dried flowers. Put the garland along here as well so that all lights up. And I just need to find the three bits that I'm going to put on this end. So we've got the three sides styled now i'm just going to take the tiny little glass light up pumpkins from lights for fun and scatter these on these shelves as well so we're literally just completely covering this in pumpkins but this is what we do every year and honestly when it's dark and cozy the lights are absolutely everything so i'm just gonna scatter these on the unit okay i think i'm happy with our little tv unit obviously need to put lights in these ones i'll show you when we're all finished it all lit up but I took some of the little pumpkins out because I just thought it was way too much but I'm loving how that's looking now now I've got the windowsill to do in the living room and then I'm also going to do this little corner here this is Lola's little bed that she's literally had her whole life so it's looking a little bit worse for wear but we're just gonna autumnify this little corner I love these lanterns these are actually from Next as well um, we have candles in these all year round to be honest this just like keeps the cozy vibes going even through the summer we put some of these little fake pillar lights in them and they look really nice so I'm just gonna add a few little bits around this corner um, and we'll see how we go I'm thinking of using the boot clay pumpkins around here because these are nice and squishy and I feel like they'll look really cozy in this corner
Okay, now I've just got this little windowsill. I don't like going too OTT with windowsills because sometimes I can think it, I think it makes a little, it look a little bit cluttered. And also, I know this is so stupid to even say when I've just put all of this out, but when I'm like dusting and cleaning, should I even say this? Like literally look at the state of our unit. It's covered in stuff. There's no way that I'm trying to justify this by saying that it's for dusting, but I feel like, I don't know, sometimes when I just want to dust and stuff, it's a bit much on windowsill. So I'm just going to put a couple of little bits on here, I think. This is what we've got left so far for the autumn living room decorations. I need to put that one back in the kitchen. And then we've just got a few bits out there for like the living room and the doors and stuff. I need to fish out the wreath hangers for the door in here. Um, so yeah, out of these little bits, I need to find some stuff that I can put on the windowsill. I'm thinking maybe this little candle jar, maybe this one, I'm not sure. We'll have a little play around and see what works on there. Okay, just having a little bit of a cup of tea break. I think I'm going to crack one of the little autumn mugs out and make myself a little cup of tea. Because look at it outside, honestly. Excuse the state of our garden as always. It's so drizzly and grey and I absolutely love it. But this is all that we've got left from the autumn stash. So I'm just trying to like designate what's going where and make little piles. Um, so I think the next thing I'm going to do is like the kitchen. So we're going to put some bits along the windowsill. I've cleared some way for some little bits to go there. Contradicting what I just said about the clutter on the windowsills. We don't care at this point because this all needs to go somewhere. And then I'm also going to use these leftover dried flowers, I think, the autumn coloured ones, for a new little arrangement in... Use the mess out in the utility for a new little arrangement in this vase to have on this table and then style it with some like pumpkins candles we've got these mugs obviously are going to go in the cupboard so they're out of the equation and i also want to get some like cookies and biscuits and do a little autumn cookie jar so that's what that will be used for and then we've just got like these little pumpkins these that are obviously gonna go out can get rid of the summery fruity ones and replace them with these which i'm so excited about and then we've got like a few little bits here i might even put which i've never done before but because we've now got autumn bedding which has just opened up a whole new world for me i might even put some of these little bits in our bedroom is that going slightly too far autumn decorated in the bedroom I'm not sure but the thought of waking up to pumpkins like opening my eyes to pumpkins is making me excited so we might even dot some of these bits that I don't use up in here in the bedroom because I can't see all of this going out into the kitchen but we'll see so the first thing I'm going to do is make a little arrangement in this vase I've also got a wreath to go on this door in here. I just went to put our lights for fun wreath out on the living room door, which we usually have the door like in between the hallway and the living room. We have the lights for fun wreath that matches the garland that's on the TV unit, but the little metal bit where the batteries go, like the circuit connector, whatever it's called, I'm not gonna get technical, but the little bit that the batteries connect to has fallen out and I have no idea where it is. It could be anywhere in that cupboard and I'm just not willing to go through all of that right now so we're gonna leave the wreath in the living room for now but i am gonna put the big one on this door here because i really like having a wreath here because it lights up as well and i just feel like it's nice to have something as you're walking into the living room again i feel like i've said this a million times but i feel like at night when the lights are off when it's cozy because it's going to get darker earlier it's so nice to have some cozy lighting around so that big wreath is going to go on that door i think i'm going to do that now actually and then we can make a start on the table, getting the flower arrangement done and dotting the little pumpkins everywhere. Don't 
This is the little dining table setup that we have going on. I feel like those dried flowers from the range match really nicely with the lights for fun wreath on the door there. Look at that all twinkling in there. Isn't that just the most inviting, cosy living room you've ever seen? I'm going to give you the full tour in a minute. We're not quite done yet. We're going to do the bedroom upstairs in a minute with the last little bits. But this is all we have left from that massive dining table full of bits. So I'm thinking maybe in the bedroom we can scatter some of these pumpkins. We've got the bed into palm, which I'm so excited to see on the bed. We've also got this that I think I'm gonna put in the, either in the downstairs toilet or the bathroom that I do my skincare in, just so in the morning we can like smell the pumpkin and maple and just get in the autumn mood as soon as we wake up, which I really love the sound of, to be honest. These bits, obviously I just said I'm gonna do like a, there's coffee all up the wall there, I don't know how that's happened. Um, but we're gonna do like a biscuit, like an autumn cookie biscuit jar. It looks so nice with some like cookies stacked up there and then have it on the side. And then these mugs, I'm not gonna give too much away for the, home sense video that I'm doing because uh, obviously you'll see it but they can sort of be a part of that I think we're going to do like the coffee drink station I'm going to home sense tomorrow so that'll be an exciting trip I'm going to vlog that as well um but yeah this is what we're looking like so far I'm going to give you the full reveal in a minute I'm just going to do those finishing little touches with you and then we can have a little autumn tour of the autumn decorations honestly I love being at home all the time like if you watch my videos you'll know how much of a homebody that I am me and Sam to be honest just trying to TikTok at the same time as well um but when the autumn stuff is out I just can't explain how like homely and cozy I feel and our home is literally my favourite place to be, especially when all the decorations are out. It just feels so warm and cosy inside. I just love it so much. The Honestly, the serotonin that this, that this gives me is not normal. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna do the finishing little touches now and then I'll take you around and we can do the big reveal and the big tour. And yeah, I think this is my favourite year of decorations yet. Obviously over the years, I collect like little bits over the years. This collection started probably about three years ago now. Is it three years ago or two years ago? My first ever video on YouTube was a Decorate for Autumn with me. My first ever video. And I remember that year I'd been sent some bits for lights for fun. And I think it was the first time that I was like gifted things from a brand that I'd loved for so long. Like I'd seen influencers get stuff sent from this company and I was like, oh my God. I remember unboxing the Lights of Fun like delivery and I just could not believe that they'd sent me those things because I just loved them so much. And I remember filming that video being like, oh my God, I've got all these autumn decorations sent to me and whatever. So that was really the start of my autumn decoration collection. So over these last, it's either two or three years. I know that's really bad. It's either been three or two. I think it's been three years. I don't know, two, three years, this collection's been building up. And that lights for fun, um, gifted selection of a few bits was my first ever proper like gifted thing. And the first bits of this autumn collection. So over the years, I buy a few new things each year, which is what, how the collection grows. And I'd always say that to someone, like if you're wanting a really nice collection of autumn decorations or Christmas, whatever you want to call it, um, then obviously it's gonna, it, it has to be gradual. Otherwise it would cost you hundreds of pounds. Like unless you're willing to splurge, I think it's always best to collect a couple of really good bits each year. And it won't take you long and you'll have like such a nice collection of stuff. And I'm at the point now where I don't think we have room for anything else, which I feel blessed to say, but I, I hope that we can keep these bits. I'm getting really sentimental about my autumn decor, but I'm hoping that we can keep these bits for like years to come and they'll follow us like in every house that we live in. And I just feel like they'll be really special and really sentimental. So not to start welling up over autumn decorations and pumpkins, but I'm gonna stop blabbering now. Get the last few bits out. We can change the bedding upstairs. We're actually due fresh bedding. So the timing could not be any better. And then, I'll give you the final tour. So I'm gonna give you the final tour. We've decorated the kitchen, the living room, and then just a little sprinkle in the bedroom. So I'll start in the kitchen. We've just got 
few little bits on here, just some of the pumpkins, the candles. I put a few little dry stems in this little jug that we picked up from that little local shop, which I love. There wasn't any room for that initially, but I thought I've got to get that out because I really love that one. And then we've got the dining table, little dried flower display. These are just the bunches from the range that I've put in that vase that we already had on our unit. And I've just stored some pumpkins there. I think these look really cute on our dining table. And then we've got the big lights for fun. <laughs> Hello baby. We've got the big lights for fun light up wreath. This is a Christmas slash autumn wreath on their website because you can change the colour of the ribbon that you put on it but I just take the ribbon off and I just hang them straight up from the base but I love this. It's so pretty. It's like faux um, foliage obviously. And then we come through from here into the cosy little living room. I've got the lights on at the moment, but this is what it looks like when it's all dark, it's all lit up. I've just put some little bits on this windowsill. I've got the wooden uh, candle from HomeSense. This is from TK Maxx. I'm gonna put a little tea light in there. And then we've got our little pumpkins that also light up with a tea light in the back of them. Then here we've got all of the light up bits. We've got the dried flower, display there, the light up garland, we've got pumpkins, I put some batteries in the lights for fun, like um, porcelain pumpkin as well, I've put one of the little fake candles in the next candle holder, I love that, I think that's one of my favourite pieces this year, got some pumpkins dotted in here and then I've just put the boot clay pumpkins around these lanterns and then again just put pop some of the light up fake candles in the lanterns, just a few little bits on this windowsill but I'm so happy with the living room. The living room is always my fave, this is where we spend the most time so this is where the most effort goes into but I love this little corner. We didn't have this last year so this is like a new little addition. Do you like it? Do you like it? <laughs> okay and then I'll show you the bedroom and then we come into the bedroom and we've got the softest bedding I think I've ever felt in my life. This is our first brushed cotton bedding set and I'm in love with it. I feel like every bedding set that we buy from now on is gonna be brushed cotton because this just feels so soft. I'm so excited to get in here tonight. But it's just got these cute little boot clay um, pumpkins on them. And then it comes with the matching pillowcase as well. And then I've just popped one of the HomeSense candles little pumpkin and I've even put Sam a little pumpkin on there because he's got like his books and stuff so I didn't want to clutter his side but how cute is this bed in I love it so much so yeah I'm gonna wrap this video up here thank you so much as always for watching this video and for decorating with me today I'm gonna sit and I'm gonna edit this and I'm hopefully gonna get it up tonight I need to edit the TikTok as well but we are entering in to the best time of the year I'm so excited. There's so many exciting videos to come. So make sure you're subscribed and you're ready for the cozy burr content. And yeah, have a lovely rest of your day and hopefully I will see you in the next video.